The Ghanaian Times this morning reports that two UCC halls in bloody clash rampaging students destroy property, three injured in reprisal attack. Progress made at ports under the threat. Imani man slapped uh, a neighbor to death of a woman and um, 10 start up get uh, 1 million Ghana cities boost. Share 795,000 from Magdan Entrepreneurship Challenge. But progress made at ports under threat. Imani, man stabs neighbor to death of a woman and gunmen on rampage fire at police man. Um, the Finder newspaper this morning says 10 startups receive 1 million Ghana cities, 795,000 from Magdan Entrepreneurship Challenge, 300,000 from Business Development Ministry. That's um, what we're reading on the front page of the uh, Finder newspaper. Also, Free Zones Board. Um, boss to face off with incumbent new job in south mp in mpp primaries class four girl allegedly defied by teacher cries for justice and togo awaits results of presidential elections uh foreigner singbe would uh, will be getting his fourth term if that's uh that's if maybe fit them I, I should say daily guide nigerian grabbed for ghana card registration mahama in dirty cocoa politics chief cautions ndc minority in paulugu dam Okum Kom goes home today. That's uh, uh, Akwesi Ajiman, the, the very popular mayor of uh, Kumasi, uh, the KMA. Goyal gives up for profit, uh, profit for quality fuel. And Daily Graphic this morning, uh, no change in JHS, SHS duration. Naka uh, clarifies. And uh, provisional results today uh, is what we're being told from Togo. Also, share process uh, winners, processor wins McDonald Entrepreneurship Challenge, UCC Clash, Ugoa ATL Halls involved, property destroyed, four injured, handing over ports to Uniparts inappropriate, according to Imani Africa. And on the back page, MTN FA Cup Round 64, uh, Hearts beat Dunbot, Dunbot 2-0, Kotoko Idiana Stars crash out. And yesterday, that sweet victory by Manchester United is something that you should all be happy about, which is why I'm in my red tie this morning. And Business 24, a new online portal, as uh, an online newspaper, says a uh, new FX platform will deepen market, according to the Bank of Ghana. Unipass threatens port gains. Imani Ghana and local banks to part finance Pullman project. My guest this morning is the Honorable Member of Parliament for the Tamale North constituency. He's a member of the NDC's communication team, the Honorable Alassan Suini. We don't as yet have a rep from the NPP. When we do, uh, we will give him or her a seat and hear his views as well. Alaji, good morning. Welcome. How are you doing? Good morning. Absolutely. I'm terrific. Alhamdulillah. How was the weekend for you? Well, um, it was quite busy mm. um, but uh, also very fulfilling and we give uh, Allah Almighty mm. uh, the praises that we were able to survive it and we have another week uh, with mm. us. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Let the conversations have started on social media about who got what from Get Fund Scholarship Secretariat and this morning I, I said that look let's not make this an NDC and MPP matter because then we will not be able to look at the totality of who qualifies, who is getting it, who is not getting it. Mind you, the GNPC is giving scholarships, uh, Cocoa Board is giving scholarships, so many, so many other bodies. And so I don't know what your thoughts are about this, but names have popped up, disclaimers have been issued. One of the disclaimers that I saw from GetFan, for example, uh, said that, well, uh, maybe I'll read it, but let's pick your initial thoughts. Uh, what do you make of, of all that's flying around, left, right, center? Well, I must also add that um, my weekend was crowned with Optional King's victory. Ah, yes, of course. Yesterday. <laughs> and Optional there's a need King. that I congratulate him yeah. uh, profusely for, you know, the brilliant performance mm. that uh, he showed uh, throughout the mentor right. competition. And I would like to also congratulate your network right. for such a beautiful concept. Mm. I am very eager to, you know, mm. get the first recording and possibly uh, the first Grammy. Okay. Uh, I can see that young man going far. Mm. And on behalf of uh, 
all those who supported him. Right. Uh, I want to congratulate him mm. and say that he made us all proud. He did. He did indeed. I mean, yeah. it was head on with uh, Chiches. Chiches. Chiches and also had it, you yeah, know. But yeah, but Optional yeah. King, it was one of his performances that he did talking about the prejudice right, that was right. has been meted out right, to right. the people from the north right, you know right. and he says they call it the north but we, we call, call it, it home. home yeah, yeah. yeah. that mean, was profound for yeah, me yeah yeah and and uh, at one point in time i had to even write on some of my social media mm -hmm. handles that i have stopped getting you know uh, offended mm -hmm. by that discrimination right. because sometimes I feel it is done out of ignorance right. and some people don't even know mm -hmm. that what they say or do mm -hmm. is even offensive. Right. You know, for example, somebody thinks it's a compliment to tell you you don't look like an ordner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how is that a compliment? Yeah. You know, but people do that and 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 genuinely people do that not, not because knowing that exactly this is what they're doing. What, you know, so but I think that he, he, he represented the North mm -hmm. in all its um, uh, forms, and uh, we congratulate him. Right. Let's talk. Okay, so. Now to the Get Fund issue. Right. Honestly, like every well meaning Ghanaian, when I saw the report, I was scandalized. Why were you? I was scandalized because I've always thought of Get Fund and all the other scholarships mm -hmm. to exist solely to support brilliant but needy students mm -hmm. so that they can pursue higher education uh, to improve themselves and to, uh, after that, contribute mm -hmm. to the growth of this country. Mm -hmm. So when I saw the list of beneficiaries, I couldn't help but wonder okay. if these beneficiaries were indeed you know, people who passed mm -hmm. as needy, you know, and brilliant students. Okay. Yes, they may be brilliant, mm -hmm. but I was wondering if they pass as needy students. Okay. Then the, you know, report also in some form mm -hmm. sought to argue that even the whole act of get fund okay. does not support mm -hmm. or should not support uh, scholarship. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it should not be awarding scholarships in the first place, mm -hmm. especially for students who want to study abroad. Okay. Now that is a matter I will want to educate myself further on. But generally speaking, I have heard some of the rebuttals. And I think they are as shameful as the publication in the first place. Because, you see, let's not reduce Ghana into timelines. Mm. Ghana is Ghana. And institutions must work to serve all of us in ways that we all need. Mm. So it should not matter if one doesn't need something, but take advantage of it because you can. Is that what you see? Uh, that's what I see. If you take advantage of it because you can, mm -hmm. and then want to justify it on the basis of our very retrogressive politics of oh it was within this timeline that has happened the first the question is should you have even been going for it in the first place hmm. the other question is those who were processing it right should they have considered you if they had not considered you what would have been your reaction right that, for me, should be the crux of this matter. So, for example, you have a member of parliament, now minister of education, mm -hmm. who doesn't think that it was even unconscionable in the first place for him to apply for such a fund when he was member of parliament 
and comparatively in a better place position to support himself if he so wanted to have the certificate that he went to Harvard for. Mm -hmm. And many of such people are on that list. You have the Minister for Procurement. Mm -hmm. In her case, I think we will even have to dig further because the cause that she is supposed to have been supported by the fund to do mm -hmm. Seems like it was the same cause that the National Health Insurance Scheme was supposed to have supported her to do mm. with about $8,500. Right, yes, that. she issued a statement to say she applied to the National Health Insurance Scheme for that support. Mm. But the trip mm -hmm. and the course was fully paid for by Parliament. And so she did not need that support from the National Health Insurance Scheme mm -hmm. and therefore wrote to withdraw her first application to them. Okay. Now, if it turns out, and I'm just saying if, and if it turns out not to be the case, mm -hmm. it still doesn't water down the fact that she shouldn't have applied to get fund because she's relatively in a better position, right. you know her background, to have, you know, paid for that education if she so needed it. But if it turns out that is the same course that Parliament also paid for, then that would be curious. And I think that as representatives of the people, it does not matter whether it is NDC or MPP. Okay. Wrap up Some of these actions are the reasons why continuously when research is done, mm -hmm. confidence in the politician is waning and that should worry all of us because should, should, how should the civil servants who manage these funds not have the gonads of steel to say i won't give you because you are not in my category they should be able to do that they should, they should be able should to be. tell they should the be. big man or big woman coming up to say you are not qualified i won't give you i'm sorry they should be there's a child in kumbungo who needs this they should be so why why don't they there are several reasons why some of them are not able to. Sometimes, one of the reasons could be that when they help corrupt the system, mm. they also benefit in ways that they shouldn't have. That's one way. Another way is that they know how vindictive mm. some politicians can be. And so they are afraid that if they stand their ground, they may lose their jobs mm -hmm. or get sent to places that their services may be well <laughs> you know maybe more needed but would be comfortable for them so there are various reasons but mm -hmm. beyond this i am saying that look continuously mm -hmm. we can as politicians who lead some of these institutions as political heads mm -hmm. do something about it by standing our grounds and by not putting even the civil servants or the public servants in a situation where they have to say no to us. Okay, thank you. We've also been joined by the MPP's Director for Communications, also MP for Adenta, uh, lawyer Yao Oboa being here somewhere. Is here. Chief, good morning. How are you doing? This will be a first uh, with me here. Is that so? <laughs> a first yeah. with me here, absolutely. So, happy okay. new year to you. Same to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's talk about scholarships. Scholarship, thank you very much, and, and the matters are rising. But first, let me quickly read uh, that uh, two letters. One from Get Fund is a disclaimer, and another from the Education Ministry. This is from the Get Fund, dated the 23rd of February 2020. It says, the attention of the Ghana Education Trust Fund has been drawn to some media reportage, which suggests that Get Fund awarded scholarship to the following government officials, even though they were not needy. One, Honorable Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, his Minister for Education, Honorable Ajoa Safo, uh, Minister of State in Charge of Procurement, and Dr. Prince Ama, Executive Secretary of NACA, the National Council for Curriculum, uh, and assessment which we would like to we wish to categorically state that the award of scholarships by get fund under get fund act 2000 uh, act 581 is not limited to needy but brilliant students the fund may per its mandate also provide support for such 
other educational activities and programs to serve strategic national interests. The above, having said, uh, it is worthy of note that the aforementioned persons have not been awarded scholarships by the fund under the current administration. This issued by so, uh, Get Fund. Okay, and then this one signed by my good friend Echo Vincent, dated also the 23rd of February, is from the Ministry of Education. It says press release re education minister listed as Get Fund beneficiary. The attention of the Ministry of Education has been brought to a major online uh, publication which sought to create the impression that Dr. Matthew Puku Prempe, Minister for Education, has benefited from a Get Fund scholarship to study in Harvard University. The minister would want to state that the publication is not only false but vexatious. We're here we're, we're by this notice stating categorically that under no circumstances that the Minister of Education received any sponsorship for scholarship from the Get Fund since assuming office. We urge the general public to disregard the said publication and treat it with the contempt it deserves. Echo Vincent, as if wise, the Director of Communication. Is there an attempt to, if you will, justify what has been condemned by many on social media and the public sphere about who qualifies for it, needy or greedy? Is there an attempt? We can have a debate. Good morning to your viewers. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I always miss time <laughs> TV3. Right. I, I, I invariably underestimate the traffic and traffic, time yeah. myself. So this morning, I'm a few minutes late. I'm right. very, very sorry. Right. Your viewers should please forgive me for that. Um, we can have that debate on the side. Let's interrogate what has brought the debate about first. Right. Where is Joy FM's uh, information coming from? Mm -hmm. The information on the social media is a report that's been published. The report by published by the Auditor General. By the Auditor General. Right. For which to years? Parliament. From 2012 to 2019, I guess. 2012 to 2019. Yeah. Very well. Good. Now, it's unfortunate that it happens to be the current ministers right. because they happen to be ministers at this time. That mm -hmm. Their names can come up and then they can be used as a subject. Mm -hmm. uh, they've, been, they've, they've, they've become victims, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, that is the stuff of which politics is made. But the bottom line is that, is it the case that we are being told that once you become a politician, you are not entitled to or you don't deserve mm -hmm. on the merits, on the strategic considerations, on the need considerations, on the brilliance considerations. You don't deserve to access ability to improve yourself. Is that the case? Are we saying here that over the years, the numerous capacity building interventions we've had in this country are useless? that we still sponsor chief directors, including ministers, sitting ministers of state who are still studying on their own mm. to become masters, students, and doctors, and otherwise. Go to Ghana's budget mm. and look at the capacity building budget for every year. At one stage, the NEC government itself spent over $112 million mm. on capacity building in one year. For, for which kind of people? That is the question. Is it capacity building in scholarship to brilliant and needy students? Is it to students? Is it to the person you said in that village? Right. No. It is to build the capacity of institutions and our ability to govern this country and govern it well. Who needs it more or most? That is where we are confusing it. Mm. Let's not confuse it. Let us break it down into the proper categories. Okay. That is where we are confusing it. Mm. You have educational scholarships, right. basic level. Mm -hmm. I would call it basic up to tertiary level. Right. That at that stage, you are in your formative years. Mm -hmm. You are being educated generally. You understand what I'm right. saying? You are being educated. Your, your, your focus is on your, your hours mm -hmm. and your ability to think. Right. That's what you're educated for at that level. Right. From uh, kindergarten to your first degree, mm -hmm. more or less. You are being educated to think. At that level, you're talking about needy and brilliant. Right. At that level, mm -hmm. you're talking about needy. Those who can't make it because their families are not in a circumstance mm -hmm. to pay. Mm -hmm. That is needy. But they may have the way with that. They may have the basic brain power. Mm -hmm. So they need to cross the barrier of access, resource access, mm -hmm. before they can get there. And that is one of the reasons why we've put in the free SHS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Free SHS. 
It solves all that problem. Please, let me land. I'm distinguishing it. Mm -hmm. it, it you cannot dis move it. Free SHS has nothing to do with what we are doing. We are talking right. about but now. you are introducing so it. Yes, I'm distinguishing it. I'm distinguishing it because you are mixing the issues. I'm you are mixing I'm brilliant I'm, I'm, and needy with capacity building I'm not, and all I'm that. I'm not mixing so, it. I'm so, asking so, questions. So let me land. You are assuming I'm let mixing me it. Land. I'm mm -hmm. saying that mm -hmm. there are categories okay. of capacity building. All right. There is education itself, mm -hmm. basic. You have said that already. And I'm trying to tell you what is involved there. Okay. So that we know clearly what we are talking about. And, 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 I'm, and you mentioned what free SHS. I'm asking, does free SHS that solve all that problem? Have, of, I, have of, I gone into of, the merits of free SHS? Well, that's what you introduced. It, that's what I'm asking. I haven't gone into the merits of it. I'm explaining something. Okay. Let me explain it. Okay. Explain I am it. saying that mm -hmm. at basic level, okay. you have FQ. Mm -hmm. Are you going to ask me about whether FQ solves all problems? Mm -hmm. FQ is free. It's supposed to take care of kindergarten and primary school, right? Mm. And we have introduced free SHS to take care of that second tier level, right. including TVET, mm. technical vocational education, okay. all free. That solves generally mm. and universally the problem of financial constraints that don't allow Ghanaians who deserve to learn mm. to get into school. If implemented well and fully. Let, we can mm. have a whole debate about this implementation, its not, financing. Not, not the point I'm making is that... F-Cube also, I mean, exactly. you do know that exactly. it's, it's had hiccups. Exactly. Mm. So, so capacity building at higher level hasn't had hiccups. <laughs> the, the, the TV3 hasn't had hiccups. It is policy managing itself. I've had hiccups this morning getting into the studio. Right. Every policy, every system has hiccups. It does not detract from the principle. It does not detract from the policy. The policy is that free basic education, F cube, is there. The policy is that free SHS has come in. Now, you go to the universities. They were free. Universities used to be entirely free. From eating to sleeping to going to lectures, until we realized that we're bleeding as a nation. So we brought in cost sharing. I'm trying to find a correlation between... I'm getting there. After the, the universities, the I'll get there. The After the universities, the I'll get there. Uh, After the universities, mm, I'll get there. Right. In a sense, freedom in the university is akin to scholarship, is it not? Mm. The free access they had in the university, was it not a scholarship? Mm. We were providing universal scholarships at tertiary level to everybody. And at some point, we decided that we had to share costs. So we brought in cost sharing. And university students started paying facility user fees. Mm. Even there, it doesn't cover the entire cost of university education. So <coughs> there is a subsidy in there that qualifies as a scholarship. Then you move beyond university, where people are now beginning to get masters and PhD and mm. otherwise. And at that stage, it is legitimate that you get scholarships. Mm. We have foreign scholarships. We have scholarships where the NDC loaded their young people into so-called oil and gas programs from Scotland to Australia to where have you, where the state paid for it. Mm. And at that stage, what is it called? It's called capacity building. It was a strategic. It has moved, when you finish university first degree, you've moved beyond need. You've moved beyond brilliance. Mm. Because technically you are finished school, mm. first degree. But when mm. you begin to go into your second degree, mm -hmm. you are specializing. Your master's, you are specializing. Mm. When you go into your PhD level, then obviously, you know, you are becoming a don. Mm. Uh -huh. So in some cultures, PhD level means you are now moving into academics. In other cultures like Ghana, you need the PhD to be saluted by everybody so that you are mm. giving any job. <laughs> that is what we do. So we are looking at capacity building. And capacity building is not based on need. That's why I had to go all the way back. Okay. Capacity building is not about need. It's not about uh, uh, brilliant students. It's about strategic niches that we need to build a certain kind of so specialty. So why, why is everybody not getting it? And have, everybody can't get it. Why, because why not can everybody not, is if needed. If the cake is supposed that is to be why it's called strategy. For everybody. No, please. No, please. Governance is not equity. Why are you not the managing director of TV3? Everybody can be the managing director of TV. Why are you not managing the company? That's because my CEO won't be hosting the Thank show. Thank you. Your CEO needs capacity building. If your CEO has to be trained in management skills, we also give you the same amount they'll of money train because you are hosting. Presenting. Thank you. So when you are ready, you'll be trained in presenting. Your cost will be different from your CEO's. But people course. are complaining that they have applied there and they're not getting it. Are, all resources are finite in any place in the world. Mm. Air is finite. If we're paying for air, mm. we wouldn't be able to afford it. 
The surface of the earth is finite. Water is finite. That is why we are fighting illegal mining. Everything in this world is finite. Government resources are finite. That is why we have a budget. And the budget states the things it can do. Now, we are saying that when it gets to beyond university education, mm. you are dealing with strategic initiatives. What, what do you, you are paying what, for people mm. to be trained in specific ways mm. to contribute their bit. Okay. Now, it could be sponsored by the government. It could be personally sponsored. There's nothing wrong. Okay. There's nothing wrong. Okay. So if a politically exposed person mm. accessing properly through application and otherwise a means of capacity building. There are MPs in the parliament I sit in now who are educating, going to GIMPA and some doing courses in London and uh, uh, otherwise. They want to become doctors. When, when, when their constituents are not getting the same benefit? Not all the constituents will get. And not all the constituents are being put in strategic. The, the constituents have access to basic education, to university, and the state is trying to take care of that. But they, want, they also want to get capacity. They should apply. I'm say, are you saying that now everybody in Ghana should be given a scholarship? That's what you are telling me. Everybody in Ghana. But that's a ridiculous but, but, argument. But, but by, by that principle of... FQ, free SHS, blah, blah, blah. Napo is said me. to have gotten a scholarship, so everybody in Ghana should get a scholarship. This is what you are telling me. No, but Napo you, is said but, but to you are, have received a scholarship, I didn't say so that. everybody. I didn't, in, that's I, what you are I didn't say that. That is what you are It is because politicians of the ruling government have been cited mm. in a situation where Professor a, lot of people, mentioned. a lot of people, mm. including NDC politicians, have benefited over the years. Mm. And because today, MPP politicians have been cited. It is in your interest to say that everybody no, else that, must receive that, that is not what I'm it saying. Is wrong. Mr. Let I'm us, saying that. Let I'm saying us that be objective Mr. as a country. Mr. Let Mr. us build this country Mr. properly. Mr. Mr. What do we need? You, you as have a just country? you have just given me a chronology mm. of how the system works. Mm. Kindergarten to basic school. Mm. You have explained uh, FQ. Mm. You have told me free SHS. Yeah. You have told me cost sharing in the university. That's right. I am saying that. If I, for example, get my first degree, mm. and I also think I need capacity building, as you put in, apply. Why should, the fact that you apply doesn't mean you get it, it because okay. it's finite. Okay. What? Everybody is supposed to go to kindergarten. Some people are so far away from it, they don't get there. So it's not the case that everybody gets into kindergarten. Okay. Everybody is supposed to get a basic education. It is not everybody who does. Some people even have parents who are too lazy to take them there. Some people lost the opportunity for education because faith dealt them a bad card. Mm. You understand? We are all subject to fate. So not everybody gets into basic school. Not everybody gets into SHS, even when it's free. Not everybody. You have buildings that are not sufficient. You have people who are too far away. You, you, any system does not meet every need 100%. That is why we have needs as a human. Okay. Then not everybody from free SHS will get into the university. Okay. There are grades of institutions that people get into, even at tertiary level. Mm -hmm. People get into teacher training college, people get into uh, uh, banking, people get into all manner of things, mm -hmm. right? After that, when you finish, not everybody will get a second degree. First degree, second, I don't have a master's. I don't have a doctorate. I have a professional degree. I'm a lawyer. I went to law school. Am I, cons am I struggling to get a second degree? What is the status of my law degree? Is it sufficient uh, 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 to, to meet my needs? In the event, now, I'm a lawyer, mm -hmm. that I'm appointed the managing director of TV3. Would TV3 need to spend money taking me abroad to go and learn uh, 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 creative arts mm -hmm. management mm -hmm. or, or, or production management? Mm -hmm. They may have to. And if I want the job, and it is in the interest of the state to put me in that job, ought the state to invest money in me through Get Fund or otherwise to send me to Russia to go and learn uh, 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 TV management and information mm. management so that I can come and run TV3. These things so, so that's, are necessary. So that's, so that's the justification. It is not a justification, it's a fact. Okay. These so, are the facts. So let me, These are the facts let, we must deal what, what, with and stop the unnecessary you know, insinuations and politicians, these politicians that. You are a politician sitting here this morning damaging the entire reputation of entire class of people who are supposed to lead this country. You are one of us. 
the fact that you are in opposition in the NDC doesn't mean that at this stage. Is that, is that the inference you draw from, from what, what I heard from him? Now, this is what is running politicians' reputations down. That's what he said. Okay. This let, is what is running let, political let me, reputations down. Let, 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 let me ask you I'm a very final one. No, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give I am chance. here to tell us how it works. Okay. And you cannot live in a country where capacity is not built. Okay. May I, may I ask you a question? Doctors, may I ask you a question now? Doctors may, still have their capacity built. May I ask built. you a question now? So, what do you say to those whose names have a appeared on the list, the appendix, and they have not received anything, according to them. They are all over social media but now. They're, the they are saying that, look, you are saying you are giving us X amount of money for capacity building, and we have not gotten it. But that is why I began by asking you where the report came from. The auditor said general. an auditor general. Right. I haven't seen the report yet, right. unfortunately. Right. Right. I would okay. have loved to see the report. Mm. Because is it a final report? Has the auditor general uh, gone through all the processes and determined that, in truth, mm. these people have been giving the monies they say they have. In this era of social media, fake news, etc., people generate all manner of things. Okay. So the question I asked to begin with was, where did the report come from? Mm. Once you say the Auditor General is supposed to be a magic wand, right. oh, the Auditor General, but mm. have we seen the report? What does the Auditor General actually say? Okay. Those are matters we must interrogate. Right. We can't just fly off and begin damning politicians because okay. those politicians whose names have been noticed are in the ruling government. Okay. But even chief directors go on training. Right. Even chief ministers go on training. Okay. Thank you. So, Ini, well, take take a, a bite quickly, and then Mr. Bambi somehow will have a rebuttal too, and then we'll move on to another thing. Today is supposed to be a big day when CBG uh, would start releasing uh, funds to uh, to. Uh, uh, that's better. Uh, yes. So, I I think that um, Mr. Bambi Samoa's uh, last submission mm. should have been his only submission. The which, fact which that is he has not seen the report okay and he thinks um on that basis people should not rush to you know criminalize politicians mm -hmm. because i mean i think that should have been his comment because honestly speaking johnny mm -hmm. listening to him I feel embarrassed as a politician. Why so? Look at this. <laughs> I do. You feel embarrassed. I have a right to be Allow him, Mr. Samuel. You, you can, I does do. he run now, politicians? You, you, can, you, can note, you can note your disagreement. I will. Him, because, because he exposes all of us to radical. The issue on the table has nothing to do with capacity building. Capacity building is part of the budgetary allocations mm. that are made to ministries, departments, and agencies. Mm. And so to use what we have mm. in this report as justification because people need capacity building mm. is neither here nor there. Oh Even in parliament, mm. parliament has a budget for capacity building. Right. So if parliament wants to train you in any field as a parliamentarian, parliament should pay for it. And that is why I spoke about Adjua Safo's case, right. where it seems to me, mm. per the timing and the report, mm. that the same course that she denied mm. that National Health Insurance I mean, paid that for. It's not fair on Adjua Safo. To be sitting here making those allegations mm. in her absence, how can you allow well, that well, to happen? But, but counsel, it is not right. Counsel, counsel, the law... Yeah. Have you yeah. asked Adjua Safo? Counsel, which are allegations? Counsel, 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 you are saying that she's, you suspect her of having taken counsel, two, uh, counsel, what do you call counsel, it, from different... Counsel, it's not right. Counsel, I remember that a letter was written from the quarters of the NHIS it is only fair that if you are going to deal with Ajua Safo's name to that extent and use it as an example and impute access to two different institutions for the same thing, you actually... He's asking a question. I'm, to I'm, me I'm, or to you? Am, are you in a position I'm, to answer I'm, for her? I am, I am raising an issue Allah, for Allah, investigation issue, and for address. Is being personalized. How is and it the personalized? And the person is not here. Allow how is it personal? You are going into a matter. You are going into a matter about Adjua Safu that does not deal with the issue at stake. You are going into but this matter using Adjua Safu, and she is not here Kanzo, to deal with is, those it matters. It is his turn to speak. You are yeah. not allowing but, but him can to speak. I, I don't say anything get this. at any time and get away with it. I don't get this. It? Can we just say anything at any time and get away with it? Mr. We can't Bobby do that. Adjua Safu, you can have generic arguments. You can have generic arguments. I don't think you are being fair to us and our viewers. What is wrong with you? I don't think you are being fair to us and our viewers. You can have generic arguments. Why are you mentioning Adjua Safu? Respectfully, I don't think you are being fair to us and our viewers. 
you would have your time to speak. Let's be fair. So oh, why we don't mention names please, in our discussions note, again? Please note your. We don't mention us. names in I'll our discussions. I'll note it. Thank you, I'll sir. Note it. So please. Really, please make progress. I am saying that if you look at the timing in this report and the course pursued and the school attended, mm. it is similar to the course and the school that Adria Safo is said to have attended, mm. for which she applied to National Health Insurance Authority to sponsor, but later told us that National Health Insurance didn't sponsor because Parliament sponsored. So I am saying that even, and I'm using that to respond to the issue of capacity building. Mm. That even in capacity building, the institution of state that you work for has the responsibility to take you through what is required for you to perform the job that you are performing mm. for the state. It is not for Get Fund to do that. Get Fund has a purpose. It is to support the scholarship secretariat and other, you know, and use other means to support education, especially of deprived, you know, uh, 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 students. Mm. Because deprived here can be even the communities. That's why you have the Get Fund schools. Mr. Boabia Samoa says at some point there's capacity building. So I am you move beyond you, need. No. And now you're looking at no, Johnny, developing Johnny, Johnny, strategically Johnny, people who can come is back to impact. No the way. There is no way that another agency will build your capacity for TV3 without having a stake in TV3. Hmm. So I'm saying that if you are a parliamentarian, and I gave you the Ajua Safa example, where she told us that Parliament had paid for her capacity building. Mm. Do you get the point I'm making? Yes, yes. So if Napo also wanted this education and it passed as a capacity building program, okay. Parliament should in be the, paying in the for it. Of Parliament, the Parliament should, should Fantastic, the bill. because she's a parliamentarian. So your, but dif your, di funds. your difficulty but is the that thing, the, the thing capacity that was built for parliament but is being paid for by another institution she, he shouldn't have even gone close to get fund i'm saying that there's a reason why you know in the positions that you occupy you are paid better than some people is it not get funds discretion to do what they did to afford who they think deserves to be assisted you see sometimes sometimes when you occupy certain positions you don't put people in uncomfortable situations by the request that you make of them. Who did that? I'm saying that. And you asked me, you remember in my first submission, you asked me why the civil yes, servants civil, and yes. public servants, why can't they, say, can no? they say no? And my answer to you was that there are several reasons, but two that comes to mind immediately is one, when the system is corrupted, they may also be beneficiaries. Okay. So they can't say no. Okay. And two, they know about how politicians sometimes can be vindictive mm -hmm. as political heads. And so when you make that request of them, they may not be able to say no. So they may not Thank say you. no. Be Bella is here. Let's not keep oh, her waiting. I, I have a right. To yes, yes. I, 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 I don't even... Sorry, I didn't sorry, even, sorry. I didn't even sorry, land where. Sorry I mean, I'm, sorry I just want to make a single point. Sorry, sorry no, but that. let me, let me finish the point I'm making. You know, sorry, let, me, let me finish the point I'm making. Yep, so the, yep. so the point finished. I'm making is that, look, Mr. Yababu Asamoah has not helped matters this morning. Okay. I think his rationalization has put all of us, you know, uh, uh, politicians to public ridicule. Says you're running down politicians. I think, that, I think that what is happening now should serve as a reason for us to relook at how Get Fund has been extending scholarships okay. and who even I, qualifies okay. in the first place yeah. to apply yeah. for scholarship okay. yeah. from, from, Get Fund yeah. or from the scholarship yeah. secretary. Yeah. Please. He has overly narrowed capacity building mm. to institutions and the budget. I explained carefully. I said that anything beyond a first degree, mm. which is basic training, opening your mind, 
is to build your capacity in a particular and area. And his insistence is that if the capacity so, building so, is in the interest so, of so parliament, capacity debt building. fund should not be paying for that what means, parliament please, should please, be paying please, for please. because parliament also Why has Why do you let him fund. run off and then you let me No, speak. no, I'm asking. I can't ask you a capacity question. Building. Can't feel like capacity have, building. Can't I ask you a question? You were helping him to interject. Capacity building in the sense you are talking about it is the narrow sense. Okay. The narrow sense is the name that has been given to it right. in government documents. Mm. Capacity building right. to reflect extra training by government. That's right. But what I'm saying is that beyond first degree, mm. anything else that specializes you is building your personal capacity in that area. Mm. That's what I'm saying. So if you, are, you have a problem of capacity building, as I'm saying it, then we can say broadening your scope, mm. <laughs> something else. Mm. So. Anything beyond first degree is broadening an individual scope in a specialist way. It's specialist training. Should the institution benefiting from this specialist training be not be the one paying for Sometimes it? Sometimes you are not even an institution yet. There are people who are unemployed who want to do their masters. Mm -hmm. Napo was unemployed. They, they, uh, uh, oh, please. Why are you? That's make, progr said, make progress. Names. Make progress. See, make Napo progress. Napo was unemployed. So, 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 so it's all about Napo. So it's so all about Napo. Allow, allow. It's so all about Napo. This is all about Napo. About, make progress. This is all yeah. about make, Napo. Mr. Bobby, <laughs> make progress. The progress we are making I, I, is that there are individuals in this country right. who have access get fund, mm. who have access scholarship secretariat, foreign, who are not employed. There are people the NDC took to Scotland and other places and paid good money to universities there to train in oil and gas. They were not employed. Equalization? No. I'm they were not it employed. is a fact. It is a fact that after first degree mm. and there were specialist God. training right. is necessary. Okay. Because after my first degree as an LLB, I needed specialist training to become a practitioner of law. And he makes the point. After first mm. training mm. as you graduated from the University of Ghana mm. as a management student. And then you find yourself positioned to go into the oil industry. You find yourself positioned to go into the oil mm. industry. You believe, you deserve, you need mm. to learn and go into that industry. You apply to get funds for a scholarship to go and study oil and gas. So any suggestion so, is, that, is that, for example, I sit here as a host on TV3. Yes. If I require capacity building to help with the work here at TV3, yes. the daily graphics should not be paying for my training. There are two levels. That's why I'm saying that if you use capacity building in the narrow sense that he's wanting to use, okay. then you are right. Okay. If you use capacity building in the narrow sense that institutions budget for capacity okay. building, then you are right. Okay. But I am saying that I use capacity building in the first sense, in the larger generic sense. Right. And that sense is broadening your strategic scope. Okay. Strategic okay. broadening okay. of of, of I, I don't what want you to so, so after, but, after okay. your first okay. Okay. Let's go to after your first Balazama. Everything, Balazama. everything you do no. after no. the first no. not all of us can so, be doctors so, so, listen of to philosophy. Listen to okay. Can I ask you? Can I ask you? Thank you. Thank you. Are you the moderator? Okay, gentlemen. So let's listen to the lady. There is a validity. Let's not give her validity to expanding strategic thinking, and that doesn't cover everybody. Okay, it covers individuals. Thank you. Sweet Bella, welcome. That is why you apply yeah, for it you when you are needy. Allah. Allah. You apply okay. for that but, but capacity. Are you not, are you not, are you are you not needy? Okay. Okay. Let's, let's hear the lady, please. Oh, Could he have paid for it at that time? In fact, I'm very disappointed good. in the names mentioned regarding their foreign sponsorship to pursue uh, the academic laurels. Where are the brilliant but needy ones from the villages who don't have political affiliations? I wouldn't be surprised if their warts and relatives uh, pop up in the list in the future. Selfish politicians. This is OB from Osu Alata. Good morning, Johnny. In opposition, NPP are problem solvers, but in government, they become the biggest problem uh, in the country. Whenever I think of this, I feel so emotional. This is Prince Jalil Usman, old Tafu Kumasi. Walanya Nakutia says, Good morning, Johnny. Hi, Honorable uh, Suyini. He should not take, he should not look at our faces through our screens and take us for granted with all due respect. I plead with him, though I will not condone illegality. What's wrong with sponsoring students outside Ghana if legitimately they are Ghanaians? Oh, Ghana, everything is politicized. And very soon, Anabu Suyini, in a few months to come, will be doing politics with the air we breathe in. And by the way, very special good morning to Ernest Yao Kumi. All right. Good morning, Johnny. Our leaders are only there for their interest. If we don't take time, they'll take all from us. And we, the ordinary ones, will never get to the top. 
they are now also fighting with us on the little things we the ordinary ones were benefiting from. God bless Ghana Aram Adenta News site. Good morning to you, Johnny and Alaji Al Hassan Suyini. Please, Johnny, help me get Alaji Suyini's number. This is Yusuf Bori Wa Upper West Region. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Message to you. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the responses coming from this Get Fund Scholarship Buhaha, it's just so funny. They create the impression that the likes of Matthew Opoku Prempe, Adra Safo, Kennedy Osenyako, and Ignatius Bafoewa were awarded the scholarship under the NDC. These individuals may be gifted, but are obviously not needy. The NPP is such a huge mess from Berima Kubaji, Jini Jini. Okay. Good morning, Johnny. This government is politicizing the Get Fund Scholarship, and it shouldn't be so. Everything is politics from Territon inside Kumasi. Good morning, TV3. Please, I want Johnny to continue with his campaign in government to evacuate Ghanaians in China. Please, why has he stopped? He should continue. My sister is in China too, and we need that badly. Well, later on, we'll be speaking to a former deputy ambassador to China to tell us more about um, why he called out to or reached out to the students in China and what he thinks could have been a better way to handle the situation. So Blay from Cape Coast, keep watching. The fund is for brilliant but needy students. It is immoral for members of parliament who receive one of the largest salaries for MPs in the world to rob needy students of this privilege. Isaha Kudut Inusa from Bungpurugu. Good morning, Johnny. It is disheartening that those who told Ghanaians that they were well-to-do and for that matter were coming to serve Mother Ghana and not to enrich themselves are now competing with poor students for the guest fund scholarships. God save Ghana. Philip Ying from Tongo. Good morning, Johnny. You said the issue should not take partisanship dimension, but you're allowing Anobo Yabwabina Samoa to get away with just that. It's disheartening how politicians share almost everything amongst themselves, while the poor and needy ordinary Ghanaians from who, uh, for whom many of these scholarship schemes were to cater for are suffering. Greed is our bane. Daniel from Inkonya. Okay. Good morning, Johnny. The NPP man is dodging your questions, but setting and answering his own questions. Can't he ever talk without referring to the NDC? We have the men indeed. Ayimbila from Boga. Good morning, Johnny. With this passionate and candid sense of respect, God has added another year, a wonderful year to our dear dad's year. We want oh. to please use your medium to wish him a happy birthday. On behalf of the entire family and friends, myself, Sharon Abena Poma Triddles, Johnson Triddles, Leslie Triddles, and Selassie Kojo Triddles, we wish our dear father, Alfred Kojo Triddles, a happy birthday. May he continue to be a caring and above all, good father to all of us. Thank you for your time and thank you as well. Happy birthday to your Mr. dad. Triddles. Yeah, interesting name, interesting right? Name, right? And <laughs> final one. So good morning. Base Math Maku from Co says, Government must stand to curb illegal activities in the country. Please wish my dad, Mr. Nado Kofi, a glorious birthday. Wow. And that does it for Thank you, Bella. It looks like we have a lot of birthdays coming up. Uh, but the report we've been referring to so far is from the Auditor General. It says, um, It's a performance audit report of the Auditor General on the administration of scholarships by Get Fund. And the report is prepared in our compliance with Article 1872 of the 1992 Constitution of the Republic of Ghana, Section 13. E of the Audit Service Act 2000, Act uh, 584. Daniel Adumelovo is the Auditor General, and he sent this. This was uh, sent to Parliament. He lists the, the team there, and you can find um, the report on www.ghaudit.org, so you can read in full detail. But let's talk about um, CBG. CBG is set to start paying off the the monies uh, of uh, the saved saved monies, if you will, uh, five billion. That it is, but. Mr. Yabobi, there's a conversation about um, validation and a threshold. Why is that limitation there? What's the threshold? Because already some of the collapsed bank, uh, the people who had their money in the collapsed bank are complaining about the fact that if your money goes beyond, I think, 10000 or so, you're not getting it. Now we're going to be paid for savings and loans and we're getting another threshold. Does it mean they are not getting the full complement of their money or what? what? What does it mean? Thank you very much. I believe that, as you said before, some people received 10,000. Mm -hmm. That was a threshold. It is a threshold. The difference is that they will still be entitled to their full funds. Mm -hmm. What I think the process entails mm -hmm. is that you are validated in the sense that you have to demonstrate to the receiver mm -hmm. that you were a bona fide account holder right that you have a sense of your balances mm -hmm. of course there are others who also say that the receiver has access to the bank records and all that but if you do so okay. then the receiver can cross check mm -hmm. and confirm 
that's the validation process right. that this is the amount you are due mm. now the payment process that the receiver appears to have adopted mm. is, is that if you are validated you don't you are not paid off all your entire funds but advance. why not you are paid in stages okay. i am not in a position to determine why they don't pay you at once but i i am assured and i believe from what the president said that everything will be paid a hundred percent so probably it's in stages mm. probably they will have to be paid in stages okay. but the other thing i like about it and i remember i said this before is that the payments ought not to be over the counter right. in cash right. that it should be by account right that accounts are open so cbg will board. create accounts, accounts for everyone, and, right? and the money is in there because probably if you keep the money in there mm. it's in your better interest than right. taking it out as soon mm. as money is in your hand i'm no swinging really like if he gets money he'll spend it <laughs> he'll spend it so if you are not careful you, you think when you get money you, you won't spend it you will spend money, it too. money has a setting <laughs> particularly if i'm going for my primaries now okay. and then i like uh, it's not me like it you have to spend money you don't spend money when you get it you have to spend the money if you're not careful and you are paying money now you're going to primaries <laughs> but but, but on, on, a more, on a more serious note, yeah. I mean, the mm. fallout from the collapsed banks, yeah. they are complaining that, look, their, their inability to assess their, their funds is having a toll on their business. So, for example, somebody who imports or somebody who is into manufacturing have been saved my money, yes, but I cannot assess my money. That's more than like running down my business. I'll, I'll be the last person to sit here mm. and downplay the impacts. But the impacts were necessary part of the cleanup uh, obviously if you are cleaning up the extent to which it had to be done okay a lot of the time we assume that this happened overnight mm. it didn't it was part of the imf conditionalities okay. that were imposed in the, on the country mm. when the country went to the imf in 2014 okay. that there had to be a banking cleanup so it is this administration which came in and mm. took that one on otherwise okay. without that we will never have qualified to exit the imf okay so in doing that cleanup it is obvious that impacts and uh, negative impacts is what we are trying to minimize mm. so as much as possible i think the process of the assurance of 100 percent payment should be done in a way okay. that minimizes the ongoing most grateful impacts. thank you so you yeah. take a bite on this one uh, the, the news is here the monies will be given to them i am concerned about the threshold and learning from the collapsed banks and how their monies though saved have been kept in the bank what do you, you know, say? Johnny, I still mourn the fact that even though as a country we could have still cleaned up the banking sector mm. uh, and saved depositors fund mm. indigenous you know, investments and also Ghanaian jobs, mm. but we chose to only do it in a manner so to save only depositors funds saying so on this is, is, is a, it was a necessary evil that's what i'm saying i mourn the fact that there there are other ways we could have used to save it the three things, things. Mm -hmm. depositors fund remember three things were involved right. the funds the Ghanaian business mm -hmm. and the jobs mm -hmm. but our government chose to save only depositors funds Those and even in 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 this you know scheme to mm -hmm. save the funds clearly what is being offered the depositors is not what you know they were expecting okay. i am for example i am for example Rapper surprised this morning, this morning this mm morning -hmm. this morning that you know the announcement is to the effect that people should wait till they get text messages before they come for their monies i mean really on what basis then did the president assure everybody that Today they will be receiving payments. Okay. Why didn't we think through all of this before such an announcement? Most grateful. Thank you, uh, Honourable Alassan Suhini is the member of Parliament for the Tamale North constituency. He's in a race one more time to win it. He's killed there uh, his primaries. So uh, Mr. Yawabia, someone who is MP for Adenta, also communications money, uh, uh, manager for the NPP, <laughs> is here to go for his primaries on the 25th of April. We wish you well, and we hope that uh, we get to talk sometime. But know that 54 years ago today, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's government was overthrown by the military. Uh, 54 years on, we say never again.